everyone. I'm Jennifer Bean, Executive Director of Center for Inquiry at Michigan. At CFI, we are working to defend reason, science, and secular values, and we are building a community for secular individuals. On the 50th anniversary of Earth Day this year, we were planning to join the climate strike to rally for the future of our planet. I was also excited to lead a panel at the 2020 Grand Dialogue on Climate Action hosted by the Kaufman Interfaith Institute. But as you know, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, that has all changed. So they invited me to take a minute to share some of my thoughts on Earth Day. As a secular humanist, I believe that this life is our only chance. I and my members don't believe in the afterlife. So we have to do what we can now to make this our best life. Just as there is no second chance for Earth, this blue marble floating in space is our only home. So we have to take care of it. And in doing so, we need to take care of our fellow human beings as well. Right now, there are so many things that are dividing our world. From politics and religion to racism, gender, and sexual discrimination and income disparities, the stress of this pandemic has only made these divisions even more apparent. But I find hope in seeing people making great sacrifices to cross these divides and to help each other. To me, this is what true humanism is. We must look to our common humanity and to what unites us and focus on the things that we can do together to save lives and to take care of our planet. As a secular person, we, I believe that we are each responsible for our impact in the world. So my members and I work to put these values into action by organizing volunteer projects and partnering with organizations like the Interfaith Council at Kaufman to restore native habitat, to plant trees, and to support the health of our communities. We also lobby for uh, science-based public policy uh, at our local, state, and national levels of leadership in our government. Our vision for the Grand Dialogue this year was climate action as an interfaith imperative. We were very much looking forward to bringing our communities together to find ways that we can work together across religious and political divides to make a difference to care for our earth. But we can still make a difference as individuals no matter where we're at. So here are three ways that you can start to take action right now. One, speak out. The scientific evidence is clear. We must take action now before it is too late. Hold your elected leaders accountable. Make them change the laws and follow the science. Two, we can work to limit our carbon footprint by reducing our use of fossil fuels, ride a bike, walk, or take public transit, uh, or even use renewable energies if that's an option for you. And the third thing was something I learned recently that I found was rather surprising. If we reduce our consumption of animal protein by half, we can cut our diet's carbon in footprint by nearly half as well. We can work also to use uh, recycling more to reduce waste and to support companies that are also using sustainable and earth-friendly business practices. I want to close by saying thank you to the Kaufman Interfaith Council and our friends in the West Michigan Interfaith community who have been so supportive and have given CFI and the secular community a seat at the table so that we can work together to help protect our planet and to work for the better good of all humanity. Thank you and have a happy Earth Day. Stay safe.